Hello all, welcome back to my channel. My name is GK. So in this video, I'm going to go over my interview preparation tips that I follow before I attend the interview. And you can apply these interview tips for any technology, but I'm going to focus mostly on cloud and DevOps for this video. So most commonly what people do whenever they get interview scheduled or whenever they get the date for the interview is they hurry into preparation of the technology and what questions they might expect and how to practice and what to practice and all this stuff. So in this video, I'm going to go over the tips that I generally follow whenever I get a call for the interview and how would I approach to the interview. So all these tips are prior to the interview, not at the time of interview or not during the interview. So first and foremost thing and the most important thing whenever you get a call for the interview is doing research. So let's say you got a call for DevOps position or a cloud position from AWS or from GCP or from any startup company. So what you have to do as part of the research is first go to the website and understand what that company is all about. Like what is their domain, what products they offer, what technology they are in. So that's the most important thing, understanding all about the company, understanding their products, so understanding what problem they are trying to solve. So as part of this research, one, you can go through the Google articles and you can go through their website itself. The second thing what I do personally is I call to my friends. So let's say I got a call from AWS, I call my friends if they are working there and ask them about this role. So if they're already in this role, it's even more easy for me because they'll explain me what this role is about, like what do they do in day in day out, what time they spend, so what technologies they use, what tools they use. So that will be the important thing, try to get information from your friends. Now you can also ask them about the interview questions and answers and stuff, but most of the time they have an NDA with the big companies especially, so they generally don't reveal that information. And the second thing is, try to go through the job description at least three or four times or even more times before you go to the interview. So you should have the job description well framed in your mind. I mean, you should at least read as many times as possible because it reveals lots of information about the role and about the questions that you might get during the interview. So after I got some decent amount of information about the company through the website and through friends and through other stuff, the next thing what I do is I go to the glass door. The reason why I go to the Glassdoor is because Glassdoor gives me the reviews about the company and uh, it gives me the most important thing is the interview questions and answers if it's a famous company. For example, if the call is from AWS and GCP, you have lots of articles and lots of YouTube videos on what are the interview questions that you might get, so what are the different stages of the interview and what you might get in the each stage of the interview and what is expectation from the interviewer. So always keep yourself in the shoes of the company and the interviewer whenever you're trying to face the interviewer, whenever you're trying to prepare for the interview. So in the glass door, I will write down all the questions and answers for that role from the company. But usually let's say if it is for DevOps or solutions architect, and if I'm not able to find the questions and answers in that uh, glass door for that company, then I can also get questions and answers in general for DevOps and cloud from other companies as well. But before you do that, most importantly, look at the skills and tools that are mentioned in the job description. That's why I was saying to go through the job description as many times as possible because it will it will tell you what exactly the role is all about. So for instance, as we all know, DevOps is a huge subject and cloud is an ocean. You cannot expect that you, know, you can read everything before the interview and you'll be confused what even prepare for the interview. So when the company prepares the role or the job description, they make sure they prepare exactly that is needed for the team. Like for example, when I take the interview or when I'm trying to hire for, for my team, I prepare the job description that is needed for that role in my team. So I will not put everything that is under cloud or put all the cloud services in that job description. Now let's say you got a call for DevOps. So in the job description, you might specifically see what tools they're interested in or what technologies they are looking for. And prepare the interview questions only in those tools and technologies. You don't have to review or you don't have to go through everything that you know in past because that's all not, so that's not going to be helpful for the interview because the focus will be more on the things that are there in the job description. And also if you go through the job description, it will be carefully laid out into two parts. One is must have skills and second is good to have skills. Because now you're already selected for the interview, you're already having some must have skills that they, are, they were looking for, that's why they got that's why they called you for the interview. So prepare only those mostly and then good to have is something like certifications or you know cloud services that are that they are looking for or sometimes they'll also say so we need someone in 
AWS or GCP. But it's okay if you are good with Azure, that's fine as well. So that's how they might frame the job description. So your focus should be on AWS and GCP. But let's say you are good in Azure, but that's not bad as well because you know they are okay with either of the cloud service provider. So please make sure you write down everything that you are doing as part of the research about the company, about what they have done recently in the news articles, if they have acquired anything recently or you know if they have uh, got any awards recently in a specific domain or a specific product so write down everything write down about the interviews questions and answers and any any other information that will be useful now the second phase of the preparation is introduction as you all know whenever you go for the interview the first question is tell me about yourself because the interviewer doesn't have time to go over the resume so they'll ask you please give me a rundown of your resume or why don't you introduce yourself? So the most important thing as part of this introduction that you have to practice before the interview is so prepare telling about yourself only within 90 seconds. If it is less, that's fine. But at least focus only between 60 to 90 seconds. Don't go beyond that. And in the tell me about yourself, so tell more about what you have done that his client is looking for or the company is looking for. So let's say that they said we are looking for a DevOps engineer who has very good understanding of Terraform or we are looking for a cloud engineer or a solutions architect who is mainly focused on security part of solutions architect. Now, when you start introducing yourself, you will tell about the accomplishments and a lot of things that you have done or how great you are, which is the most common answer that people give, which is fine, but focus more on like what you have done in the security part or what you have done in the Terraform part that they are looking for. So that is the most important thing and more often people do a mistake in this part itself by just saying how great they are you know what they have done how awesome they are and how many awards they got and all this stuff because i don't think any interviewer who will be interested to know more about how awesome you are but to know whether you will be perfect for this role in the team or you have all the skills and technologies that are required in this team so focus more on what they need than what you are so after the research phase and the introduction phase now the third important thing is projects. At least write down two or three projects that you have done in past relevant to that job description. Like for example, in the security or the Terraform, if you have done anything, at least write down three or two projects at least and what you have done in that project, what you have done, not what your team has done if this is individual contributor role. So what you have done especially and then what was the outcome of that project that you have delivered. So make sure that you write them down and then you prepare well before you go to the interview. Now the fourth thing is questions. So have at least three or four questions in your mind when you go for the interview because as an interviewer if somebody would ask me questions back on the project or what kind of role or you know or follow up questions on what the product is all about or if they can offer any help on that that shows that the person is very much interested in this role and it shows that you are looking forward to the role. So instead of saying like I don't have any questions at this point of time I would at least have three or four questions that you can ask them and uh, that way you're going to give good impression to the person who is interviewing that you are interested for the role. So last but not the least is practice. So whatever we have discussed so far, try to practice them all. At least the introduction part or tell me about yourself, go to the mirror or go in front of the mirror rather and talk to yourself for 90 seconds. Make sure the time frame is perfect and so make sure that you're covering everything that is required to be covered based on your practice and based on, based on what you have written. That way it will give you confidence before you go to the interview. So I hope these preparation tips will help you before you go to the interview. Like I've said, these preparation tips are not just for DevOps or Cloud. You can use this to any skills, any technologies or any role. So let me know in the comment section if I missed anything or if you want to share anything with the people for this community or for the people who are following this video. And thank you again for watching this video. Take care. Bye.